Hey guys! Hope you all have liked our previous 3 videos. Feedback is extremely important to us. Please leave in the comments section what you think or how we can improve. If you have any suggestions, please put them forward. Do, like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. More goodies are coming your way. So, let us continue with what Yo-Yo and Momo are planning to do next. Like many of you have seen in the previous videos, how important research is in trying to secure a place in one of the prestigious universities of Australia. All that they have done is that they have put some time towards their goals and once you do that, you will have the know-how of what it takes to apply. Bear in mind, it is a simple task which seems daunting from the outside. Okay, so let's come down to business. The next steps that Yo-Yo and Momo have taken is that they have done some more research on the courses that they plan to do at the Australian universities. Before I go and tell you what Yo-Yo and Momo will be doing, let me give you a piece of advice. Always choose a course or program that you are passionate about rather than doing it just to get an academic qualification. Okay. So now let's go back to the siblings. Let's see how they have planned their future. In addition to what they had done in the past, they have now looked at the course accreditation with the relevant university and educational institutions. Accreditation is nothing but an independent recognition that a university, or a study program has met the requirements of certain defined criteria. This is paramount, as without accreditation, you may not get the status, or recognition, when you go out in the market to look out for a job. Accreditation gives you that status, that the course or degree you have done is recognized not only in Australia, but at a global level and it matches the universal standards. Yo-Yo has decided on doing mechatronics engineering. If any of you are not familiar, let me explain. Mechatronics is a branch of engineering that focuses on both electrical and mechanical systems. It also includes a combination of robotics, electronics, computer, telecommunications, systems, control and product engineering. Yo-Yo has truncated his choices and has zeroed on the below courses with mechatronics as the specialization. Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Computer Science, at the University of Melbourne. Bachelor of Engineering, at the University of Sydney. Bachelor of Engineering, at the University of New South Wales. Bachelor of Engineering, at Macquarie University. Now, let's take our attention to Momo and see what she is up to. Momo also did extensive research before she considered to do the following courses which were accredited by the Australian Computer Society known as ACS. 1. Master of Information Systems Professional, at the University of Melbourne. 2. Master of Business Information Management and Systems, at La Trobe University, Melbourne. 3. Master of Information Technology and Master of Information Technology Management, at the University of Sydney. The next step in their adventure is to find out how the admission process works and what are the requirements for entry to an Australian university. The admission process and entry requirements are important, as it will save you time and effort later down the line. You will also avoid any extra effort, as you already have done good research and know where you are going. A pre-planned approach will save you a lot of time later, and you will have peace of mind during this application process. Let us now see the steps in the admission process. 1. Online admission submission, with supporting documents. 2. Assessment of application by the university. 3. If eligible, letter of offer will be issued by the university. 4. If offer is conditional, supporting documents will be required. 5. Final offer by the university. 6. Acceptance of offer by the student. 7. Payment of tuition deposit, overseas student health cover and any other non-tuition fee as required by the university. 8. Issuance of confirmation of enrollment called COE. So, let us look at the above steps in detail. You start your application process by submitting an online application. Once the application is submitted, the university looks at your application and if you meet the entry criteria, they will send you a letter of offer. If you do not meet their requirements, then they will send you a rejection.
If you are issued a conditional offer, the university will grant you a final offer once you have met the condition. You will then need to accept your offer and make payment. Please keep in mind that your letter of offer is an official app, legal agreement between yourself and the university. Therefore, you must read your letter of offer very carefully. Once your acceptance is processed, you will be sent a confirmation of enrollment called COE which is needed for student visa application. If you have any question during your application process, you can contact your university to seek further assistance. That's it for now friends. Do not miss our next videos on entry requirements and admission documents. It is simple, and we will guide you all along this journey. Stay tuned, watch our videos and do not forget to comment and give us feedback. Please like, share and subscribe. Until next time. Ciao and have a great time ahead.